This video is going to be difficult to start off. <sighs> hey guys. Now, recently Zoe's been having problems, which for those of you who don't know, Zoe is my dog. Uh, she's been having health problems like vomiting a lot and things like that. And today she just fumbled over and just stayed in one spot for the rest of the day. So we had to take her to the vet. So we went to the vet and so we started to like getting wobbly when, we, when she walked. So we took her to the vet and we carried her to the table on the vet and then After the vet told us, after the vet examined Zoe, they told us that that she had a tumor broken in her, like that possibly may have burst in her stomach, and she was slowly dying from it. So we had one of two options. We could either bring her back home and just risk it or we could let her stay at the hospital overnight and hope that she can survive the night and then just test her for the tumor thing and then get the surgery and everything so i went with the second option but that's the riskier option because we don't know if she's gonna survive the night but yeah so this is my video to say goodbye just in case she doesn't make it through the night. Now if you guys are seeing this, that means that <sighs> Yeah, but I have been with Zoe since I was three years old. I've known her since I was three. <sighs> She was the reason I I've ever wanted a dog, and when I was around six, my grandma passed away, which is, she owned Zoe, and nobody volunteered, nobody else volunteered to take Zoe into their arms, so I, so I begged my parents, and I'm glad I did that. So I was always um, a nuisance most of the time, but then I quickly got used to loving her. And <sighs> yeah. <coughs> uh, I will show up some pictures of me and Zoe when I was when we were younger. So, and some pictures of her in the hospital. So, peace.